front of a live audience, you have to hit it in one take. Right. Tell me about doing like multiple takes for us. You know, it's doing. it's hard. Yeah, it's hard. And we're also we're in front of a live audience. Not only is it one take, but it's also uh, we're able to feed off the energy of the audience, which you don't get on a movie set. And. Uh, we're very interactive with the audience as well, and we also have instant gratification because if we do something good, our audience reacts, the live audience reacts. Uh, if we if we think something's going to be good and they don't react, you're like, oh man, that was not too good. Uh, so it, it is harder. And yeah, the fact that you have to generate the same emotion, or you know, we want you to do this, but slightly different, or do that. Uh, that that does make it difficult and. Uh, I guess that's the art of acting. That's why I have, after doing it a couple times, I have a lot of respect for actors who are able to do it. And, uh, why did you decide to return to the role of Justin after uh, initially being called off coming back to the sequel? Uh, one of the things, yeah, yeah Jacob, that's okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, that's right. Um, I really wanted to have the opportunity to work with the Soska sisters, actually, uh, because uh, after working with them, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of theirs. I saw some of their stuff going into the. Uh, into the movie, and I, I think that they're going to be enormous stars. Uh, I told them not to forget about me when they're Hollywood big shots, because I think that they're going to be someday. They they know the art of filmmaking. Uh, I, I actually learned, you know, a lot from them, um, and and just you know, uh, I wanted I, I wanted to try it again. Just cause it is fun, you know, acting's fun, and some of the people that I was able to meet, uh, the cast and the crew. Uh, our crew is very experienced. We shot it in Vancouver, uh, which is becoming Hollywood North. They have, you know, they shoot a lot of stuff up there. The crew was great, and the cast was great. They're all experienced, good actors. Uh, Did your character kind of change or grow a lot from the first one going into the second one? Or I, I think we add some. I think we add a little more personality to him in this one. You yeah, know, kind give, of get more of an attachment to the audience. Yeah, yeah, and you know the thing about it is, even in the first movie, Jacob was really a sympathetic character. I mean, yeah, his yeah. mom was the bad guy, right? Um, and in this one, I don't know if he's quite as sympathetic, but there, there are certainly movement, or moments in the movie where you get a glimpse into his mind and, you know, the workings and what's going on there for, you know, even though there may not be much of a mind uh, and it's pretty twisted, nevertheless, we get a, we get a, uh, a window into it. Do you plan on doing any in or out of the ring cross marketing with WWE in the movie? I, I don't know what we're going to do actually. Uh, you know, the first movie we we had a we had a very good marketing promotion within our television show, uh, very unique. So I don't know what they have planned. Do you think that kind of helps it or hurts the movie? Like with like the other audience, can you do like a crossover? I, I don't know, and I do think you walk a bit of a thin line. Yeah. You know, um, especially because you know. That they are different products to some extent, and I realize that there is going to be some crossover. Uh, but you know, they, they are different, and you know, frankly, you know, not all horror fans are into WWE, and not all WWE fans are into horror. Again, there's going to be some crossover, but yeah, I don't know how much you know how much we can do without sort of stepping on everybody's yeah, face. Yeah. yeah. What do you What do you think sets Jacob apart from other slasher heroes like Freddy or Jason? Well, you know. What's cool about Freddy is he was a, a smart aleck, right? You know, that's what made him unique. Um, I think what sets Jacob a bit apart is the fact that he does have some personality, you know, and he does, uh, there's probably a little more depth to the character than, than there is, with the exception of Freddy, you know, because they did get into a lot of Freddy's history and, um, and that sort of stuff. And, and uh, uh, in this movie, we have we have a few fight sequences, which are, are unique. You know, I, I, again, going back to Freddy, he's the only he's the only one of those guys that I actually remember sort of getting beat up. You know, and I remember a couple times in the movies, he, you know, he would be like the only one that would get scared too. You know, something would happen, he'd be like, "All right." Um, so, uh, in, in that respect, I think Jacob is different than like your your Michael Myers or your Jason Voorhees. You know, he's he's probably a bit more actually human. Than those guys are. Um, he's bigger too. You know, he's, he's more physically powerful than they are. Um, so maybe he, maybe he's a bit of a hybrid between Freddy and Jason or something like that. So when you were on set and you had to play this slasher, uh, being Kane every day of your life, uh, did that help or was it hard to separate the characters? Or uh, no, they're definitely separate characters. You know? um, and frankly, you know, it, it can be. It actually isn't wasn't that easy at times, you know, because. Uh, there, there's one particular scene which is um, 
physically, you know, pretty pretty brutal, and it was, it was actually sort of hard for me to do because, you know, I'm, I'm not that person, right? So, yeah. Well, the Saskas have mentioned online that they they're trying to build up Jacob as a character so that it'll be on equal level as a Jason or as like a you know as a Freddy. If if that you know does end up happening, do you see yourself in this role as a, in a repetitive situation over um, and over again? Or? I don't know. I don't know, frankly. I'd have to see what the you know, what the future holds. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm not sure at this point. Was it easy to slip back into Jacob as a character? Uh, I guess. I mean, you know, um, I'm actually a pretty good actor. Uh, <laughs> um, so, you know, going back to to the to the Kane thing, you know, maybe because what I do um, physically. You know, I'm able to do stuff that, that other people aren't because of my size and all that stuff. Um, you know, that that probably helps. Uh, and then to you know, um, trying to work some of the stuff with mother in, and uh, you know, thinking about okay, uh, you know, how would how how would your guy if he was in this situation, you know, what would he do? Um, Someone's someone's recorder is ah. making yeah, ringing noises. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I, you know, I guess. Do you like to do more film acting in the future, transition from wrestling? Maybe it's it is a lot of fun. It really is. Um, I think I think I'd like to probably get into to doing some other things as well. You know, uh, male modeling. Nah, I don't Romantic know about male comedy. <laughs> comedies would actually be fun. You know, as weird as that sounds. Um, I like us wearing tear in the body too. What's that? Yeah. Um, yeah, and that's one thing. And I, uh, I, I don't want to just be stuck, you know, in doing one thing. You know, um, that that's uh, when you say, you know, you have the future. Yeah, maybe, but you know, I'd like to do some other things as well.